out here at uh, Ricky Bobby's custom shop today in uh, Manchester, Tennessee. And you may know Ricky from uh, the Discovery Show Rebel Road. It's uh, new coming on Discovery about some hot rod builders, outlaw hot rod builders. And uh, I shot the car that he built for Discovery, but he's also got another one. He's got a bunch of them going on. I mean, this dude, can he can crank out cool cars in no time at all. So anyways, this one's a 28 Ford. Let's take a look at it. Ricky, how are you, brother? Pretty good. How about you, Scotty? Not too bad. Tell me a little bit about this hot rod. Uh, today, this one's a 1929 Ford Model A. Um, it's been chopped and dropped and sliced and diced. It's um, It's got a little 49 Ford Mercury motor in it. Um, it's how every, long did you every, build it? How long did it take to build a car like this? Uh, this car here, we, we started on this thing. The client wanted to get it done pretty fast, so... Uh, Two of us jumped on it pretty hot and heavy, and we got it done in 30 days. 30 days? Um, when you built for Discovery, they said you built that in 28 days. Right? Yeah, no yeah, yeah. There. Well, there was three of us on that car. A little, little different. Man, you turn off this kind of quality work in less than a month. You must be getting these bodies and stuff fresh and brand new somewhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> we wish that's what they were like. Uh, I've got one back here in the back. This is actually, the one I've got back here is actually pretty cherry compared to this car, what it started out as. But um, back to the car, uh, we built the frame from scratch. Um, it's got disc brakes all the way around it. It it's looks got, like drums, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, SoCal makes them. And there's there's disc brakes Inside, in there, sir. Inside, yeah. Uh, like high-end wildwood, wheelwood. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has, yeah. Wood. It no has uh, dual piston calipers and all that. Um, the little car's been chopped about nine and a half inches. It's uh, we've actually we actually shorten our cars. Uh, it's been shortened about three inches. So you take it all out of the front. Uh, we take it out of the back window back there. Really? Uh, it would take seem about, like up here would be the easy way, but then you get out of proportion, right? Well, we actually we take about about an inch and a half out of the cow and about three inches out of the uh, back window back there. Now is that motor out of a forty something or? Yeah, it's like a forty nine Mercury motor. It's like a Ford flathead basically. Uh, it's had a. Um, it's it's a 301 cubic inch now. It's a four and a quarter crank. It's 125 over. Uh, has a junior 400 cam and it's been poured and polished with 297 carburetors on it. It's getting what about 200 horse? Maybe 200 horse, but it's, it's cool it car. sounds like 600. Yeah, right, you know. Right, 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 <laughs> yeah. Now open that door for me if you don't mind. Um, kind of got some mats in here today, but we bead roll everything and kind of make it look like the seat. Oh, uh, did you do that as a panel and weld it in, I guess? Yeah, 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 yeah. We fabricate every bit of it here. And what about that insert around that, that gauge cluster? Uh, that's that? SoCal. Yeah. You can get those from SoCal pretty easy. Is that a doorknob? You're using it for a shifter? Yeah, that's cool. yeah. And you say you built this car for a client? Yes, a um, guy up in uh, Monterey, Tennessee. He uh, he actually brought the doorknob. He, he kind of, it was off of his house or something. He wanted to <laughs> really? put it in there. He kind of thought it was cool. Man, that is cool. And this is kind of the style of hot rod that you build is kind of, we talked about it earlier and you and I agree in that we really don't care what they get called as long as they get called cool. Oh yeah, people yeah. call them rat rods, beaters, jalopies, they got every name in the world for them, street rods, whatever. It's way too nice to be called a jalopy or a rat rod. I mean, the finish and, and you know what I'm saying, you don't have a beer can as, a, as an intake and you know what I'm saying, it's yeah. all very well thought out, very nice, real wire wheels to finish, to fit, everything. Is this thing really convertible? Uh, it, it will come back. Uh, it unsnaps, and you can either bring it halfway back or you can roll it up in the back. Um, just for, you know, nice days you get out and cruising it. You know, back to the, what you want to call it, I don't, I don't care what anybody calls my cars as long as you don't call them trailer queens. They are not that? No, they get the heck beat out of them. Yeah, you drive them, and not only that, you, uh, you don't really want to build a car like that. No. You're not even interested in, in building one somebody's not going to drive. You want your creations to get out on the road and get you. Oh, for sure. To, get, to have some fun, right? Yeah, you can take it to every show in the world, and it's just a you know it's just a show car. But somebody sees you pass them down the highway at 80, you know, then it, then it really really it's turns their you know. Heads. What'd you the tail lights out of? Uh, they're 59 Volkswagen tail lights. Um, man, this thing from one end to the other has got all kinds of stuff to it. Uh, the wheels are handmade. A uh, guy out in Fresno made them for me. Uh, Jimmy McLean, uh, Rally America is the name of his place. Which super, size are they? super nice guy. Uh, they're twenties and eighteens. Uh, I think they're five and a half in the back and fours in the front. And man, they're smooth. 
It's funny though, 20s and 18s, you know, in today's world, you say 20 and 18, you That's think just, big fat tire, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And then you say a 20 or an 18 and you're thinking, okay, what is that thing about five inches, six inches wide? Yeah, it's five and it's five and a half inches wide, the, the rim is, and, and it's 34 inches tall. Holy cow. So, I mean, it's like a truck tire. And these disc brakes on the back too? It, it actually has drum on this car. I got my okay. cars mixed up. This one has drum, but it has covers on it. I got uh, Buick covers. Cool. We open this door and let me see in front yeah. of there. Yeah. I like where you put the gas cap too. You have to put it somewhere, but it, it looks good there. It fits, you know? It's got a Limeworks steering wheel in it, a moon horn button. Um, just a neat little car. You know, we didn't really get to get really, really detailed with this car and getting cool parts off of other cars as much as most of the time because of the time frame that we had to build the car. Um, it's got a Kugel, it's got a set of Kugel pedals in it. Uh, they're like 90 degree. Right. Um, so they're hidden under the dash. It's really oh, cool. It's a good little car to drive. Oh, it drove my attention. I first saw this car at Good Guys Nashville Nationals, guys, and I jacked up the video. So Ricky was nice enough to let me come back out here and reshoot it. That's why we're doing that. I like how you put the key, too. Up yeah, underneath I kind of like That's to cool. hide them. Nobody has to look at a key. You know, right. when you take the thing off, you don't take the keychain off. You don't really notice it as much. But um, the little car's got a five-speed in it, 373 gear, so, I mean, it loves going fast. And you drive it. Oh, yeah. Beat the crap out of it. I hadn't got windows in it yet. Uh, hopefully going to get this done today. That door shuts better, eh? It's not bad. Yeah. Model A's, you know, a lot of people uh, really like 32's because the door's on a 32 shuts. Model right. A's just overlap, but I still, I got a sweet spot for my. No, I got you. That's the way it's supposed to be then is my point is what i'm saying somebody looks at that and says that door doesn't line up bottom line is that's how they that's were back in the way day they were they yeah. were never good and then you laid this this bead in there is that like uh it had a drip rail originally right kind of just put that in there to kind of a little color about the same as the the top you know right. give it the same color um just part of it wow the frame we built from scratch uh it's four pieces of uh metal uh it's four barred coal over it in the rear it has your basic Ford front end in the front, uh, SoCal drop axle, and, you know, I'm sure it's a SoCal spring or something, I can't remember, but. So you build these frames yourself with the with the yeah, circles we build them, in them? Yeah, we build them here from from scratch, you know. And that every, runs all the way back? Does it have the circles going all the way back? No, not on this car. It's a, um, it's two by four tubing from here on back. Right. But uh, got 46 Ford bones on it, Vega box, so you can really get out and drive it. Cause that's what it's all about. Oh yeah, 32 headlights. Um, no emblems on the front, all cleaned off. Yeah, it's kind of just all black and sinister looking. It is sinister looking, but nice work, Ricky. Very nice work. Tell the boys when you see them. Hi, right, man. If you all can turn this kind of work out in 30 days, that's just incredible. Yeah, I would really like to build some trailer queens one day, but I don't. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> a show I'm car, a true I, show car. I'm kidding. I probably never build one. I yeah. love beaters too much. And if somebody wants to visit, you have a website? Uh, yeah, we have uh, rickybobbysrodshop.com. Cool. And you got Facebook or anything? Oh, yeah. Same thing. And, Ricky you, Bobby's and you were telling me, too, that you like to post project pictures all the time so people can keep up with what Ricky's up to and what's coming and this and that. Yeah, we kind of, every night we'll go home and try to put up uh, progress on the project, you know, so that people can... One, they can learn, you know, what we've done to the car, or two, they may be working on the same kind of project and just got stumped on something and needed help. So we try to, you know, we try to, uh, for motivation mostly. Well, yeah, pictures. we were talking earlier, exactly right. That's a good thing to bring up, because I know you, you're very modest and you never you never brag about yourself or your projects, but you do that as much to help other hot riders as you do to promote your own business. Oh yeah, for Cause sure. Because you were telling me, you were like, well, I got people that, you know, that see what I'm doing and then they ask me questions and, you know, they have an example of a picture there, so it's easier to understand. and. To you, that's what it's all about. People tell you, well, they're going to rip you off. You know, they're going to take your ideas. Yeah, well, Doesn't that's, matter, that's right? part of it. You just got to stay a step ahead of them right, or try right, to. Right, you know. right. They don't know what you got going right now. Well, I gotcha. No. But it, it's nice to see a car get drug out of the woods. And, and even if it's done, if, if, if the wrong thing's done with it, it's better than it laying there. That's running, right. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah. As long as people can see it, that beats the heck out of it. Just turn it into yeah, minerals again. For sure. Well, Ricky, I appreciate your time, brother. Anything else you want to tell me about this one before we run off? Uh, Not a lot. Anybody else we need to give a shout out to? Let's give a shout out to the boys in the shop. They work hard around here, don't they? Oh yeah, we got Aaron Dugan. He's my fabricator. He's the he's actually the the glue around here. And then we got Nathan on. He's got the mad body skills. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Somebody's somebody's got to do it. I got you. Uh, 
Not everybody can be the boss, right? No. Not everybody can be no. Ricky Bobby. And just real quick, too, before we go, that name of that show you're on was uh, Rebel Road? Yeah, we did a little uh, piece on um, Rebel Road. Uh, we did a little build off. Uh, I'm going to show you that car over here in a okay. second. All right, cool. That's a Discovery show. Yep. Yep. Sweet. Again, Ricky, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate it. Folks, there you go. There's one cool little hot rod from Ricky Bobby's Custom Shop in uh, Manchester, Tennessee. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.